Hey, everybody. I admit it. You stumped me. Had a lot of requests out there for Triumph. And I don't know a lot about Triumph. I knew the name. I knew they were Canadian. and knew a little bit about their sound. But uh, that's about it. So you kind of stumped me when you had requests for it. So, hey, welcome to Uncle Dave's Brigade. Today, I have Triumph. Lay it on the line. So let's get to the music. We'll talk a little bit about the group and the song itself. And um, it's kind of an introduction for me as well. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. I got Lay it on the line. And uh, it's from 1979. Let's go for it. Like, subscribe, post notification bell. Help me out. It's the same old story all over again. You turn a lover into just another friend. strong vocals that's for sure i like it yeah i really do i uh, like i said i've not been exposed to uh triumph and uh i this is really the first time i've uh, seen them in concert i've kind of kind of heard them in the background before but not 
not really just sit down and listen to Triumph. So thanks for the suggestion out there. I appreciate it. But uh, the band was started in 1975. This was not the original lineup, but uh, it is what you would call the classic lineup, the one that really made the um, the band what it is and what, what it became. Uh, they had uh, nine albums go gold and... Uh, uh, in Canada and the U.S., and so and, and several went platinum as well. So I mean that's pretty good. And uh, they didn't have that much commercial success here in the in the States, but they really hit it big in the, in Canada. Uh, they won a Juno Award in 1979 uh, whenever this song came out, and uh, it uh, propelled them. Um, a bit up there now uh they said that they were influenced heavily by rush of course and you could hear it you could hear it with that bass line and with the beginning of the song there uh, the start of it and i certainly picked up that i picked up with his vocals a little bit of getty lee but not quite you know he sounded a little bit more like some of the metal Hair bands, and I hate to use that term, but but he did sound a little bit like their vocals, and uh, the drummer was nice and strong, and the bass is really driving that song. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, Rick Emmett was the lead singer, Mike Levine was the bass, and uh, Gil Moore was the drums, and uh, they call themselves more progressive hard rock, and um, um, probably... I wouldn't call them a metal band, but uh, they may be leaning towards that direction, but not quite. It's not quite there. Uh, they they have more hard rock sound to me, but I liked it. And uh, he, Rick said that about this song, it may sound like he was writing about a particular person, but it really, he said it was about honest. He said, just lay it on the line. Tell me the way it is. Be honest. Be straightforward. He said that in his songs, he comes back to that theme about every 15 or 20 songs. He comes back to that. Just tell me the truth. Lay it out there. Don't mask anything. Don't hide anything. Just lay it on the line. And that makes sense. That's kind of the way I am. I mean, I just like, just tell me the truth. Don't sugarcoat it. Just lay it out there. I can take it. You know, if you don't, if I, if you don't like it, uh, if I don't like it, well, you know, I'll just have to deal with it. But anyway, thanks for the suggestion. Thanks for dropping in. I hope that you liked it. And uh, if you would, hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, and leave a comment. If you would, make a suggestion. I really appreciate it. So don't forget to um, be kind to each other out there and be kind to yourself. Thanks for dropping in. See you later.